Hi, this is Jody. Welcome to Northern Country Creations. And I'm going to start my series of my extended spine altered little golden book. So this means that you do not have to fold the pages over or cut them off. We will do this version um, where we utilize the entire book and I will show you how to do it step by step. So um, this will begin my first set of series. So the first part, um, this is uh, Darby O'Gill and so this will make a, a great uh, St. Patrick's Day um, journal for someone who's Irish. So uh, first what we'll do is um, I just have my multi-tool, <clears throat> excuse me, and so then um, uh, I start by taking out the staples. So there are staples right underneath here. <clears throat> Let me zoom in just a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so see there's a staple right here and then... Yep, there is a staple right here underneath this one. So there are two staples. Now, um, just be careful. You know, you can use whatever you want. Um, I find this is the best for, for how I do it. Um, so just stick your multi-tool or screwdriver, whatever you have, underneath there and just start prying it up a little bit. Okay, and then go on the other side and pull back that uh, staple. So now you'll see the two ends there. So now take your knife and then just see, just grab. Here, I'll zoom in even more. So if you can see what I'm doing. So just take your knife. This is how you can save your pages. So put your knife underneath it and then just kind of bend up that staple and do the same thing with this, this way, and bend it up. Whoops, that one broke right off. Okay, which is fine. And then, yeah, just be careful because you have, you know, you've got a knife. Just take whatever precautions you feel you need. So then here's the other one. These are very rusty, so they, you know, they'll probably break off pretty easy. Yep, see that one broke right off. Um, normally they do not. Okay, and then um, bend that one up. Okay, now turn it back over. Now you should be able to get your knife underneath there even easier, like that. Okay, and then just twist till that pops right out, okay? Same thing on this one. Get your knife or screwdriver or whatever you're using up underneath there and then twist. And those, they pop right open. Okay, so you're all done with a the knife. Then take your needle nose pliers or whatever you have and then just grab it and then twist in the opposite direction to pull it right out. So you'll have the entire staple pulled out. Okay, and then do that on this one. Twist, and then out. So now you have your two staples out. We don't care about this. I mean, you can try to save it if you'd like. So let me zoom back out here. Um, so you can try to save it if you want. Um, some people do. They try to save this, but we don't need it. Okay, so now you can pull your book right apart. So there we go. There's two or uh, one section. Yep, two sections. There you go. Okay, and then we'll just put those aside because we don't need them right now. So now I have a flat book and with the gold on there, but you can take it off because for one thing, it's not secured to the book very well. So if you if you try to glue to it, you're you know, you're relying on this gold foil to hold 
what I'm going to show you how to do. So just tear it off. I mean, you can use it in your collaging if you want. Um, it's up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on how good, like this is a good piece I'm taking off here. So, you know, you could put it in the book somewhere. So then just clean up all this because you need to make sure that you have a good um, base for what we're going to do. Okay, so now we have uh, that. I'm just going to cut this. Just going to cut that little bit that's attaching. Okay, now, now I want to clean up my area here, this very edge. Just clean this up. Okay. Same thing with the other side. We just want to clean this edge. Okay. Even though you're not going to see it, but you want a nice clean edge. Okay. All right. And you know, this is very easy. And if you're a beginner, this is a very uh, easy um, beginner way to do little golden books. And that's how I started was uh, little golden books. Okay, so now, isn't that great? I have a nice clean um, belong, you know, the belong to it thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do, you're gonna need some string, um, not too thick. And then you're gonna need some chipboard. Um, you know, like off the back of a tablet or, um, you know, some of your scrapbooking paper has the hard, harder um, chipboard. So what you want to do is just cut it down into strips. And I believe I did um, a three quarters of an inch. So you want to cut them three quarters of an inch and then to the height of the book. Okay, if you go a little longer, it's fine. You can cut them off when you're done. So what we're going to do is see how this is flappy and this is only held together here by just the paper. Um, so this hinge needs to be uh, strengthened. So what we're gonna do, so instead of cutting it off here, uh, let me put this on here. So people cut this off right here at the edge, okay? So this is your new cover. Then when you go to put your material on and cover it and widen the spine, then you have to take more space. Say this is your material. You have to take, you know, you, your material has to come around to the front of it, the cover. And so what are you doing? You're covering up the image and the names of the titles. So this is a way to not have to do that. And then plus, your pages will no longer fit in there. See, so you're way over, you'd have to cut this off or fold the pages. And we don't wanna do that. So this is kind of a, a great way to not do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. So I've got my, you need uh, two for each side of the book. So two for here and two for this side. And then you need some string. It uh, doesn't matter what kind, it just can't be too thick to go in this valley. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in and show you here what I'm gonna do. So you have, um, can you see this okay? Yeah, I think you can. Uh, so here you have your little valley. So what you're gonna do is take your string and you're gonna put it in this valley and then just feel with your finger to make sure that it's, it doesn't come above the surface. Really simple. So cut your piece, or you can put it in and then cut it after, it doesn't matter. Um, so I always just go a little bit longer and cut my piece. Okay, so now, <clears throat> sometimes you might want to have uh, some wax paper or just some scrap paper so when you glue you're not getting your glue on your um, uh, on your your area that you're working so I just take some scrap paper so I'm gonna put it underneath here ok 
Okay, and then I'm just going to use, um, you can use PVA or whatever you got. I just use Aileen's, okay, tacky glue. Uh, you can use Elmer's glue, whatever glue you want. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to squirt a bunch in here all along. Okay, and then you're just going to stick your string right into it. And then have some baby wipes handy. <laughs> and then just push it right in your string just push it right in okay and then you can put your excess here because I'll show you what we're going to do with that okay we want to take that off the cover and grab a baby wipe here okay so I don't want it to go too far over my glue you know I don't want it to go too far over into the book okay so now, take some extra glue, some more, bring a nice bead along the edge here, the foldable flap. Just take your finger, or if you want to use a paintbrush, whatever, um, and just smooth it along there. And then just a little bit on the other side of that rope on that hinge. Okay? You do got to make sure there is some glue over there. Okay? And just make sure you get this really good. Now take your take your strip and then just put it right to the edge of the book so it lines up and just move it into place press it down I always go like this and push it down so that I know I'm getting the exact same edge press it down let the glue you know, seep out. You know, you want a good amount of glue in there to make this, uh, you know, stiffen right up. Okay? Simple. That is all you do. Okay? And then I always just make sure that I clean, you know, the front of my cover off because I don't want any more glue. Now, see, I didn't go over and cover the word Darby. So this is what I'm creating is because I don't want to do that. Now, um, so here, let me zoom back out. Okay, so this is where we're at. Sorry about that. I thought I had my phone on vibrate. Um, so now we will flip it over. Get a clean piece of paper. Or scrap or whatever or wax paper whatever you're using okay you can push it down really good on this side and then just do the same thing um, let me zoom a little closer again okay same thing put some glue in that hinge because what you're doing is you're putting that rope in there or string you're putting that string in there to um, to strengthen the valley the hinge that's there okay cut it off again add a bead of glue here and then just smooth it out I hold my string just push it into that valley because you want to make sure it gets into there perfect okay now just spread out the glue so it's nice and even and covering everything. Just make sure that string stays down in there. And then put on your next piece. Let's do this one. Okay. Push it down. And we'll it will make a great um, transition now. So spread that out, push it down. And like I said, I tip it up and I, I push it down so I know I, my edges are straight down here. Wipe off the glue. And then we are done. So that is basically it. This will harden and you will have an extended spine. And then all you have to do is cover it with your fabric, whatever you're doing, 
um, you can take your bone folder and just press it down, you know, make sure you've got a good adhesion. Uh, but just make sure you don't have too thick of string because if you have too thick of a string, then it's going to raise this edge, especially on this side, because you're closer to it. So you want to make sure you have um, thin enough string uh, to go into that valley and fill that void. Okay, and so I just squished out some more glue. And then, voila, we have the cover front and back done. You can let this dry um, so you don't get glue on here or you can just cut them off right now and be done with it. Once it, you know, it dries, you're going to have, you know, it's going to be harder, a little bit harder to cut, you know, but not too bad. Um, and then cut it, just cut that off. You're going to have fabric going over it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I don't know. I just like cleaning it up after I've created that. So, so now you have your extended spine. I let mine dry overnight. Um, so this is the first step. Okay, and then yeah, glue on your edge, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. So that's the first one. I'll go and um, we'll do the second one. We'll let that dry. Okay. Get another piece of paper here. I always have a bunch of like used printer paper or scrapbook paper or just junk paper. Okay, let's start the next one again. Cut my string off. Like I said, you can do it after it dries or or whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Next side. <clears throat> This really strengthens it up and extends that spine. Um, just push it right down in there. Spread your glue out. Make sure it's getting on both sides. See, I need a little bit more on this side. Because you want to make sure you had good adhesion on this side as well. And you can wipe it off, you know. Um, make sure it gets in there good. There we go. Okay. Put that on. it up on its side and I push it down so it's level. Okay. All right. Wipe up my glue. And then I'll show you a set that I have already drying. 
just so that you can see, but this is the first step. This would be the first set of first steps into um, uh, making your extended spine. Okay, so, and then you just let it dry. Um, very simple. I mean, there wasn't anything hard to that. Um, so then you just uh, let these dry, and um, let me grab um, some ones that I have done already. So actually, um, I did it two different styles. So let me show you. So this, these are drying. I'm going to show you this one, but then I'm going to grab another one too. Sorry about that. I should have grabbed it. Okay. So. Okay. So this one. So these are drying. And also, I do want to tell you a tip. Um, so, see how this bows out? So, you're going to want to take a couple heavy books. And um, so I take a couple heavy books and, you know, because, because your glue is a wet glue and so it will make things swell or wrinkle or whatever. So I just take two books, put them in between like that and then I'll take another one, put that one here and then I'll grab another heavy book. and just do that. So I forgot to mention to you that. So yeah, or put them in a book press, one of the two, if you have a book press. So um, that just prevents them from, uh, you know, wrinkling up. Okay, so here is a set that's dry and you can mass do a whole bunch and that's what I do. So I take them apart and I, um, you know, strengthen it. I mean, see, it's hard, you can't bend this. I mean, it is stiff, so I just extended it, and that's uh, how I do those. I did try a different version just to experiment, and what I did on this one, I love the colors of this. This one, I went around the edge, so I took, um, you know, some, not cardstock, but the, well, it's kind of like a really heavy type cardstock. It's not really chipboard because this is bendable. And what I did is I experimented by just making it wide enough so it went to both sides and then I put it around it. It's basically it. I mean, that's what I did. If you can see, I just basically went like this uh, with this piece. Let me see, I can zoom in for you. Oops. See if I can get this to focus. Hello, focus, there it goes. So see, I went around, so I basically did, you know, a U shape and went around it. It's not necessary because this style works just as well. So, I just wanted to show you that because I, I did experiment. I mean, it is stiff either way, you know, um, take that back off either way. They are stiff. Um, they're not going to bend. So it's up to you. You can really do it either way. Um, but this, you'd have to have a little bit thinner stuff so that you can bend it around and then you'd have to press it in a book or between books or whatever, uh, to get it to dry too. So, but basically, that is the process, the first step of, um, of uh, you know, extending the spine so that you don't have to uh, cut these pages. But see what I'm talking about? I extended it, and when I put fabric on, it's not going to cover these words. You know, it, it's going to cover, it, it'll even, you still be even, maybe to see this, depends on how far or thin or thick my fabric is. Um, but I just preserved 
a more portion of the front of the little golden book. Um, again here, same thing. I didn't have to cover this up. And if I didn't ex extend this spine, right here is where you would have had to have cut off. It would have been, oops, let me grab something different here. You would have cut off, the edge would have been right here. And then, then you still would have room here to cover. And then that would have covered up almost part of that word or starting to. But a lot of the golden books don't give you a whole lot of room there. Um, this one is pretty generous. There's a lot of space here. So that one you wouldn't have covered up anyways. But a lot of those golden books, you know, the title is right to the edge. And so when you cut that off and then you go to put your fabric on, you're covering half of the title and it just drives me nuts. <laughs> so that is the first step to extending your spine. So um, just watch for my next step. I'll do this as an entire series, um, you know, for beginners or if you just want to learn how to do it this way. Uh, so just so uh, stay tuned um, for the next video for that. And um, I will shoot that one. All right, everyone have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.